Dr. Jitendra Singh, MOS Science and Technology and Space, amongst others, is joining us. I do welcome you and thanks a lot for your time. Before I get to the question I was talking about, I want to ask you a couple of things related to space and its exploration. Uh, India is going to be part of the Artemis Accord now. This brings together like-minded nations in the field of space exploration. So I want to understand from you, what do you think this means for Indian space exploration? I think broadly speaking, in layman's language, I think uh, this is an acceptance, acknowledgement, recognition of India's space capabilities, India's space prowess. Mm -hmm. And a matter of great uh, pride for India, also vindication that we started our space journey many, many years after the USA did. Mm -hmm. In fact, when USA was preparing to land a human being on the surface of moon, which it did in 1969 in the form of Neil Armstrong. Mm -hmm. We were still singing nursery rhymes like Chande Mama Durke. And we were also very, very deficient as far as our resources were concerned. Sarabhai was, has, there are pictures of Sarabhai carrying a launcher on the carrier of his bicycle. But I think it's a quantum jump which has happened in the last eight, nine years because Prime Minister Modi took a lot of number of uh, series of unorthodox decisions like opening up the gates of Syria Ricotta to private participation, etc., etc. Mm. As a result of which today, USA is looking up to India as an equal partner. So it's okay. not only that we would be benefiting from their inputs, they would be equally benefiting from our inputs, our expertise and our experience as far as our space uh, missions and space success stories are concerned. Well, you're right. India has come a long way and especially in doing this in a budget that boggles the mind of the rest of the world. But the other big thing is that NASA and ISRO are now going to be collaborating on a joint mission. That has excited a lot of people in India. How important do you think that is? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, it, U.S. had an international space station and they have a very ambitious plan hmm. to return the human to the moon by 2025 or so. And... Uh, and, and this is located about, say, 250 miles because Americans follow the mm -hmm. metric system of miles. We follow kilometers, so maybe about 350 kilometers uh, from Indian point of view, uh, from the surface of Earth. So closer to moon and also closer to other planets. So it will be easier to discover the, the, the mysteries, uh, the other uh, elements related to the milieu around the moon and the, subsequently also the other planets like Mars, etc. And uh, the joint mission means that India possibly would be also offering one of its astronauts to accompany yes. the U.S. astronaut. And that will be a collective approach uh, signifying not only the synergism in our uh, scientific uh, knowledge, but also synergism in our common goals as far as mankind is concerned. And for, from the Indian point of view, it gives India a much, much wider global uh, play field. Okay. Um, Minister, let me come to the question that a lot of uh, people are debating in India today. Yesterday, the Prime Minister took questions in a press conference. I'm sure there were a lot of attacks even before it that the Prime Minister, uh, you know, doesn't do press conferences much. I think, uh, of course, he has done in the past, but the opposition was quick to remind he hasn't done one in nine years. He was expectedly asked the question on minority rights in India. Do you think he responded to the critics uh, that have existed for the last nine years? Some of them say that he dodged the question. No, I think uh, there could not have been a more appropriate answer because uh, Prime Minister actually, uh, when he said that as long as we accept that India is a democracy, as mm -hmm. long as we accept that India is a, uh, follows a constitution, the best constitution in the world, I think the, the, the question about uh, minorities being treated otherwise or treated this way or that way does not arise. And besides that, I think, I'm sure you and I would also agree that the so-called minorities in this country uh, find themselves better placed, better positioned than uh, their counterparts in several other countries, including the countries where there are the majority. Mm. So, absolutely, Prime Minister was right in saying that this question does not arise at all. India is not only a democracy, it's also mother of democracy. India is now a fountainhead of democracy. It's also a role model of democracy for the rest of the world. And in a democracy, uh, talking about discrimination is incompatible to the inherent uh, principles uh, or the bottom lines of democracy. But can I ask you a follow-up to that, uh, Jitendra Ji? The question that comes to mind is that this government has been in power for nine years. We are barely a year to go to the next elections. And this question keeps chasing 
the BJP government at the centre, the Prime Minister-led government at the centre. Is it not a problem that this question chases your government and uh, the government hasn't been able to counter it effectively? It's not that. I think there is some, 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 some there's, a, there's a huge amount of motivation behind it and there are certain elements uh, which uh, thrive on harping on these issues. If they won't, they would not survive mm. and their, their, even their political existence would be uh, at, uh, would not be compatible to the kind of uh, uh, path exactly. that they have envisaged for themselves. So, uh, it's, it's not something that uh, they don't know. They know that they know, but they still don't wish to know. It's like that. And uh, as far as the minorities or the other issues are concerned, just remember before 2014, what was it like? I think the best part of, to appreciate it, the best way to appreciate it is to compare it to what it was before 2014. There's a huge amount of pessimism across the country. There's a huge amount of cynicism in, uh, in a common Indian citizen, regardless of his uh, religion, caste, and everybody was looking, the youth was looking forward to uh, go abroad, etc., etc. I wrote a small blog that day on the evening of 26 May 2014, soon after Prime Minister Modi was uh, sown in uh, towards the at uh, twilight, mm -hmm. at the 6 o'clock or so. I said this is the beginning of the journey from pessimism to optimism. It's now the other way around. Those of the youngsters, regardless of whichever community they belong to, have gone abroad, are looking back to come to India. And don't you remember, during the COVID times, when uh, or during the Ukraine war, mm -hmm. when Prime Minister facilitated the return of several of the Ukraine students back to India, it was the Pakistani students who were introducing themselves as Indians. So, it's the other way around now. They, 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 they are taking refuge in, 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 the, in, the, in the better, uh, uh, better uh, milieu provided by India okay. and the, the better acceptance that Indians have across the world. So I think the facts are quite contrary to the motivated or the manufactured uh, uh, opinions generated from time to time. Okay, so even and as the lobby is the same which does this. The lobby, okay. So even as you talk about this motivated section that says this against the Prime Minister and your government, uh, there was an opposition meeting earlier today where a lot of the opposition parties came together and they believe that they can, if they come together, they can beat Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the NDA in 2024. What are your comments on that? Now, do you, do you, do you want uh, me to take that seriously or even respond to that? A, they themselves don't know who is their leader. B, they don't see eye to eye. See, this will end up as a photo opportunity, just make news for a day or so. And fourth, the very fact that they have come together is actually an indication of their desperation and their admission or their, their, their admission of the fact that they are not equal to Prime Minister Modi and don't have the capacity to stand up to Prime Minister Modi. Okay. All right. I leave it on that note. Uh, Jitendra Singh, thanks a lot for joining us on our top story.